uh, kind of tracking camera using Arduino and two servo motors. Uh, in fact, this uh, project you can track like colors or you can track uh, you can track uh, moving objects or face tracking. Uh, after installing some libraries, we import them. First of all, we import OpenCV, NumPy, tkinter, and PIL. Uh, tkinter and PIL is for the GUI. In my project, in this project, uh, I like to use GUI because the GUI um, makes the work very easy. After all, we import the serial. Why the serial is to send the values to the Arduino. This library it's like <clears throat> it establish it is established the communication between the Python and the Arduino. <clears throat> we need to make tracking bars. Okay. And uh, this sex tracking bars is to track the color, the color that we want to detect, lower values and high, higher values. And the area is like if the area is greater than some value, we'll draw the circle. Okay, like uh, on the con co contours. The activation, in fact, uh, this tracking bar is to activate the serial to send the values to the Arduino. Like if the uh, value is greater than some value from the track bar, we will send the values to the Arduino. Uh, here we read the video from the camera. In my case, it's zero. Okay, here we have the X and Y position of the servos. Like uh, the X position will go like right and left, Y position is up and down. Uh, after that, we uh, read the serial board and the bridge rate. In my case, it's uh, COM3 with uh, 9600 bridge rate. I have made this function uh, to take the values x and y and uh, the image or the frame of the video. <coughs> rows and columns, like image dot shape, we have rows and columns. The center will be like rows divided by two, and uh, the center y will be uh, columns divided by 2 also, medium x, medium y, plus 5, plus 5, because I have the circuit is like, uh, the range of the circuit is 10, okay, the y is 10, I have some values here, v equals to 2, and then 45, and here we go, if medium x greater than center x plus m plus 45 the x position will be plus v plus 2 in every time if the medium x is greater than x plus m the value that we will send to the, to the servo will be plus v plus 2 and to avoid the random movement we need to make this line of code like if x position greater or equal uh, 180 x position will be 180 and <coughs> like here is uh, right and here is left if a medium x less than center x minus m Okay, the x position will be minus v, minus 2. 
uh, if the x position is less than 0, the x position would be 0. The same y for the up and down servo, the same thing. After we get the values, we send them one by one to the serial port. I made the character x value, character y value. A and x position, D plus y position. I have made to PIL, I have made these functions to display the frame that we get from OpenCV, the video frame to display it uh, on the GUI okay uh, like two functions one to take the small uh, frames and one for the main frame the big one here we show the frame uh, all the frames we read the video we flip the frame we resize the frame, we give the HSV color, I have the RGB here, because the GUI only display BGR, like the GUI uh, doesn't display RGB, so I need to convert the BGR to RGB, there we go. Uh, if you want to track any color you want, like any, any color, you need to uncomment these two lines, okay? And make these two lines as a comment, okay? We have the mask, kernel, delayed, uh, bitwise, RGB2. My RGB2 is the bitwise antenna mask okay the color is the mask okay we find the contours we make a for loop if contour in contours we get area but if the area is greater than area that uh, the value that we will get from the track bar area of the track bar okay then we will draw a circle okay on the RGB on the main frame if the act activation okay is greater than 300 the activation is track bar is also a track bar. Okay. So if the activation is greater than greater or equal three hundred, then we activate this function. It's like sending to serial. Why we we send x and y. The image is just to give the center of the frame. Then we display the first one, and the main frame, the RGB, and the bitwise, 2PIL, the mask. And this here delay is very, very important. Without this one, the code will, uh, will never work very well. The unselected image, that's all. I will run the code to show you the result. Okay. The track bars one, two, three, four, five, six have lower values, the higher values, and the area, the activation of the serial bot. Okay. And this uh, this one not track because like I have this as a comment and I got this values 
to track the red color. You see the red color. It's very fast tracking. Okay. Now I can reactivate. Now I will activate the area. You see the server is moving. It's uh, very useful if you want to make robots or This project, like you can make many projects from this project. Okay, now let's jump to the Arduino code. We have the this is the Arduino IDE. If we notice here, the COM, the part is COM3, as we mentioned. Yeah, okay. The report rate is 9600. Now, first of all, we need to import the servo library. We need two servos X and Y, no, up and down, left and right. Okay, uh, we attach, no, I connected the X servo to pin number four. Of the Arduino on Y servo like uh, up and down to pen two. Okay, I initialize some values like uh, the first uh, like if I run the code for the first time, the servo will be this position 90 and 90. In the void loop function if the serial is available I will read the characters first okay in my case it's it's A and B yeah A and B okay after that we read the integer uh, integer will be X position and Y position if the character is a, the X position will write V. If the character is B, the Y servo will write V. Okay, and that's all. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I uh, enjoy it.